everyone, my name is Nova and welcome back to another Boardcraft video. If you don't know what Boardcraft is, it is the main Minecraft series on my channel, which I built to have an explore in my vanilla world. And uh, today, we're doing things a little bit different. So, um, as you may notice, things look very different. So, I've transferred the entire Boardcraft world over to the Bedrock edition of Minecraft. Um, I just feel like it runs better and also it's more reliable and also I just like the way it looks with like some of the lighting things and uh, also you can see my little character in the top left. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I've transferred my whole world over to Bedrock. We're just gonna test it to see how it goes. Um, if you like it, then let me know. If you don't, um, shut up. So <laughs> kidding. Uh, yeah, let me know if you don't like it. But yeah, today we're going to be working on the aqua rail that I um, mentioned in the last episode. But before we do that, I want to introduce my special guest, which is... E oh, you're already there. <laughs> Hi, Clink. Hello, Clinkwood. So Clink hasn't been here in... Um, like 12 years so <laughs> welcome back to my world clink it's been a while since we saw you of course i'm also being joined by polly polly do you have anything you want to say yes a nice nod there from polly so yeah welcome back clink uh it's been a while since you've been here some things have changed i've given clink a uh, a little tour of the town so you should be familiar with where you are and if you're not um Good luck. So, yeah, like I said in the last episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding one of you to the uh, the attic aquarium thing each episode. If you leave me like a nice comment or some banner or, or anything like that. So the first person that I'm going to be adding to this is Sailor Swashbuckling Savvy. And they left a comment saying, I want to awkwardly swim around in Nova's attic for the rest of Boardcraft. And that you shall. So um, I'm just going to name it Sailor Savvy because because one, it's easier, and two, I don't think a fish called Sailor Swashbuckling Savvy is going to, to quite fit in with the rest of the fish. Its name tag will probably make it bump in everywhere into the walls. So yeah, we fully decorated this uh, this upstairs here. As you can see, it's decked out with a bunch of coral and prison rain lanterns and sea pickles and things. So yeah, the first fish I'm adding is a sailor. So there you go. You can swim around now. Um, oh, it's not even named. So that's great i love the fact that bedrock doesn't do that i <laughs> love that so that might be a little hint to as to why i shouldn't be playing on bedrock hmm anyway so yeah there you go you're added to there we just have to remember that you're like a yellow and a and blue fish i guess so Yes, before I drag it on too longer, let's go down here and let's start building. So if you didn't watch the last episode, basically I'm starting to build this like aqua mon monorail type of thing that's going to go around the entire town um, that you basically get to swim in and like see the entire town. But the problem with it, oh no, Clink's going to go um, decorate their house. Uh, they're going to decorate it for Halloween. Um, but yeah, basically... Um, in bedrock you can't actually see very well through the water so my idea for the aqua rail is kind of being derailed at the the moment um, i'm still gonna build it i don't know if i'm gonna like keep it in bedrock though so basically if you swim through the water in this it, it basically clouds your vision and you can't see anything at all which sucks but if we want to stick with bedrock, it's what we're going to have to deal with. So, yeah, it might be a little Debbie Downer on the whole, like, sightseeing adventure that I wanted to do with this. But it is fine. So, yeah, I'm building this out of this light blue and dark blue gla uh, glass just because I think it looks pretty cool. And it matches, like, the water aesthetic that I wanted to go for. Also, we were messing around with water outside of the last episode for bedrock. And I found out that you can, like, dye cauldron water. And, like, you can dye horse armor and things like that like you can make purple armor for horses and um i guess that's a reason why i want to stand but this whole video is just going to be me listing the pros and cons of staying on bedrock which i guess is fine because <laughs> that's basically what i want to do i want to know your opinion whether or not it should be on bedrock because i like this because it runs so smooth and it's so crisp um well maybe not to you but to me it is because i have to record it with obs which is a con yes 
Okay, maybe I should stop with the pros and cons because it's getting kind of old and the episode already started. But yeah, it's, it feels so smooth and nice. Uh, uh, albeit some of the lighting is off like around this building here. But I don't know. I really love the way it looks and it feels like I'm on console and I haven't played console in a long time. Uh, it also feels like I'm playing on a phone right now because the mouse sensitivity is way high and um, it makes me kind of want to die. And that rhymed. Um, I'm not a rhymer. Yes. So yeah, like I was saying before I got completely sidetracked from what I was saying, <laughs> I'm building it out of this because it matches the water aesthetic and I think it makes it look really good. I was going to do it out of clear glass, but I just didn't think it looked as good as the blue glass, but also the blue glass you can't see out of. So now I'm second guessing myself and, um, Maybe I just shouldn't be building this anymore. But yeah, while I'm building this, Clink is going to be decorating her house into like a Halloween type of uh, area. I don't know what that means, but we will go ahead and see in a little bit. I also think uh, Clink's going to come over here and help me at some point uh, once the, the house is finished. So yeah, hopefully uh, she should be making her way over here soon. But for now, it's just me. And uh, I have built this thing going around basically the entire town as it is it doesn't go around the boat because i still want to sail my boat at some point and if it's the monorail goes behind my boat i don't think my boat's gonna fit and i don't think my boat's gonna be able to get out of the the harbor where boardcraft is so yeah the monorail doesn't go around the entire town but it goes around pretty much everything and the reason why i built it around this like hill here is because i'm gonna plan to build shops in this little area behind and around the mall so yeah i just wanted to make sure i didn't go over anything that um was going to like be built here because that would have set me like a limit for height and as we all know i'm not good with limits so yeah that's why i built it all the way around here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to speed up this part of the episode where i'm just placing all of this glass down and then once i'm done we're going to go ahead and go back to the beginning and we're going to finish off this thing and I'll hopefully possibly get this entire thing done in one episode maybe i doubt it but we're going to try Okay, um, our plans have been derailed a bit. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because Aqua Monorail. Anyway, so we ran out of uh, materials. We got a lot of it done actually so we've got this whole portion done here as you saw in the speed up i went around town and i placed down the glass and some of those slabs as well so you can kind of see hopefully that this gives you an idea of where the uh, the actual aqua mono rail thing is going to, to be i'll go ahead and show you are these floating torches there's floating torches in Minecraft. We've officially hit the wizardry update. Anyway, if we go over to here, I'll kind of show you where it goes around the mall as well. You can kind of see just over those trees there, the, the glass blocks I was placing too. So as you can see, it goes around the entire town basically. So yeah, that's the path it's going to, to go in. Uh, outside of episode, I'm gonna gather more materials so that in the next episode, I can build uh, a lot more of this thing and then hopefully get it done. And then after that should be be hopefully the Halloween episode and maybe Clink will be there and maybe we'll tell some spooky scary stories like we did last year but you will have to wait and see until that episode so here is the comment of the day on the screen now thank you so much for your support thank you Clink for joining me in this episode and thank you all for watching and we will see you all in the next one goodbye